What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris, and that's Mike, and this is the Third Person Podcast. Yes, it is. <laughs> Guys, this is the uh, last episode of our rewatch react for season one of The Walking yes. Dead, episode yes, six, TS19. What'd you think, Mike? Test subject 19. Yeah, man. I always, was... always like this one. You know, I always like this episode. And we got a lot of cool stuff with, with the whole Jenner. You know, we got Shane. We got Jenner explaining about the scientists and who TS-19 was. And I always liked that because it was really, it was interesting. Because... Well, it was, it gave, it gave it like a, a reason like it. So this whole thing happened six episodes in. You're like, oh man, this is yeah. it's it's more information than we've ever gotten. I mean, obviously, it doesn't answer, you know, it doesn't answer anything. But it's what the, happened? It's the questions but... that we wanted from the beginning to kind of be answered, right? So, you know? and right off the bat, you know, we go back to uh, Shane. We'll talk about that real quick. Mm-hmm. How, you know, he 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 tried. He tried getting Rick out, and yeah. and he was just so, he was just like he didn't know what to do. The guy they're shooting. They're, they were literally he just shooting all, he people. He did all he could, bro. You know, he did yeah. all he could. He thought he, he, thought he, he <laughs> didn't hear his heart, you know, but. Yeah. That what was, that was really, do? that was, it was pretty, pretty crazy scenes, that opening scene, right? Because remember, and remember in this, in the first one, and I, and I remember this the first time I watched it, you know, back mm-hmm. when, I was like, how the hell does a ceiling get all messed up like that? Like, what the hell were they doing? And then you see it's these, the, the guys, they got bit and they were shooting into the ceiling and. Mm-hmm. So I mean it's pretty crazy. So that so that was pretty interesting to see all that. And then we you know we cut back to them being let in, and they get let in, and and he tells them this you know once you're in these doors won't ever, you know they're not going to open again. They're not going to so, open again. So we were talking off off Mike, and you were saying how uh, you were asking me what that was you know what they thought about that if they thought they were going to be there forever. And I I think yeah I think they thought that they were going to you know especially when they they have hot showers and they have food. And they having like they were like celebrating and like yeah man yeah. They, they thought they were gonna stay forever but they ended up getting a rude awakening right oh absolutely I mean they went look at what they were going through you know not knowing where to go not Rick debating on if it was the right answer and Shane kind of poking at Rick saying this is what you want this is where you want want it right yeah yeah you know what I mean so it was it was cool to see where this became because what do we see once they get into the CDC we see everybody enjoying they're drinking wine. They're um, getting, you know, they're getting drunk. They're eating, and it's just a place that they haven't had in a while. Yeah. You see, the game room, some sense you know of I mean? normalcy in their lives and, with it, and all the books. And I think and... Carol and and Laurie are talking about all the books on the shelves, and we have enough books to 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 last us for years, and all this kind of stuff. So they were they went from such a um, such a scary situation to a very safe situation, right, right. rather rather quickly. Yeah. You know? So I mean, obviously. It, it, you know, they all get drunk and stuff, which is pretty funny. And just getting sick, and and Glenn's like, "I'm never drinking." <laughs> Glenn again. has that like, funny smile on his face, you know. Yeah, uh, you know, but and you know, the whole time they're and they're they're you know when they were quizzing Jenner, and he's just like Shane, you know, being being a jerk. And obviously Shane's not a good drunk. We see obviously he goes in there, and he you know all but friggin' yeah. you know rapes uh, Lori, mm-hmm. which is you know it was a pretty brutal scene, and. You know, obviously this, you know, obviously he's, I, you know, first time around I saw that I'm like, well, wow, this makes perfect sense. Like this guy, like he's going to get drunk and he's get all pissed off. And like, I just, I enjoyed, yeah. I enjoyed when they were all in the shower and you saw each of them, how they were like, all, yeah. how they were like taking it, you know, how yeah, they exactly. enjoy it. You know, you had, you had T-Dog enjoying it. You had Rick and Lori kind of like getting it on. Yeah. Right. And then you have, you know, Andrea just. She, you could see where her head's at, and then you saw where Shane's head's at, which leads later into the episodes where obviously Shane did what we just said, and then Andrea just decides that she doesn't want to, you know, she's she wants to give up, and she wants to, yeah. just, you know. And what's interesting is how when you know Rick is candid, very candid with Jenner, and he tells him he's like, I didn't think we were gonna, you know, be it's out a there. Matter, it's, yeah, it's a matter of time before everyone he feels, you know, would would be would be dead. Which is yeah. which is which is which is kind of crazy, but also like amazing in the fact that you could see his character. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, of his, of his character, meaning like how he played this part for everybody. But it, you know, when he, when he's really that, like, that's like, that's the epitome of like strength of like being a hero of being a leader, no matter what you think you still have to do this. And that's put on this kind of facade. Yeah. So, you know, that, that, that sets the stage for the, for the Rick character throughout the rest of the series. Um, 
What Abs- about? I mean, absolutely. But you know what's what, what I what I wrote down for that because that is a that is a big uh, a part of Rick that you we didn't see, especially now because I, I have I have um, every um, basically Rick now does not think like that. I don't think that Rick. I no, think they don't that, show us that anymore. That's by, the problem. Yeah, by being uh, alive, however many years the show has been, you know, they've been right. in the apocalypse. Rick now has he's gained confidence and everything, and that was a broken guy. That was a guy that was not confident, not necessarily confident in his plan when they arrived right, at the from- doors of the CDC. So, it's yeah, it's it's so cool because we're so we're so far from season one now on the show. You know, we're yeah. we're seven eight you know seven eight uh, eight seasons ahead. You know, so there's yeah. been so much evolution. It was just really interesting to see that. And when Jenner kind of puts that out to everybody that Rick said that, it was interesting too because Shane was like, you, you know, you really said that. Do you really believe that? You know what I mean? And, um, you know, we spoke also. And what was the most really interesting part of this whole episode? It was that we we saw like the the recorded video of. Test yeah, that was just insane, man. I forgot is, how insane. Like yeah, I always knew what it yeah. was. Like I remembered it, but then it's at the same his time. wife and how he explained um the incidents and the first event and the second event, how they were really studying what the fuck was going on here. Seeing and it I, was just so cool though. <clears throat> it's cool the images, right? When you see the, yeah, the, man. the the virus or whatever it is infecting the brain and you see the brain go go black and and um you know how it restarts the brainstem and Jenna explains everything. I just thought that was always so cool because um, obviously what we know now uh, is what Jenna whispered in Rick's ear. Right. Is that we all come back regardless of if we're bitten or not. Right. So it was just interesting to see. It's interesting to see that that was his wife. It, it, it's interesting to see um, how Jenna spoke about other um, other facilities because everybody's asking, oh, is there anybody else? Is there anybody else? And that was, that was big into Andrea and her like shut down. Like there's, you know, there's nothing left. You said it yourself, you know, so there's no, no um, possibility of us ever getting out of this because all right. the facilities are going down. Um, the interesting thing was about how Jenner explained that the French thought that they were very close to, to figuring it all out. And then their power died. And their power died. And he, Jenna's saying, oh, th- we, we rely on fossil fuels. How stupid is that? Yes, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's just, it was really, it was, um, it was really cool to see that. And I, I know that we had spoken about what the rest of the world and how the rest of the world is dealing with the apocalypse and, and this world now. And if there are scientists, who knows if there's anybody else, um, Look at Eugene. He was full of shit, but there might be somebody that is out there in China or France. Well, or, you know, you know. So I, I just always would love. Well, that's to what I wanted see. to. That's what I wanted to not to cut you off, but that's what I wanted yeah. to say was that first of all, this is the only time we're ever going to see something about you know medical wise about mm-hmm. what happened, and yeah. this is the this is this is the only time we've ever seen that. And like you mentioned. Eugene mentions something, but it's all it's all BS and it's not anything. However, I going forward and 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 obviously and they haven't gotten to this at all in the comic either. They're just worried about this stuff. But why haven't they done something where someone shows up or they get information about it? Like I understand, like at this point, that's not what this is about. But wouldn't it be interesting to bring that back? Like all of a sudden, they they get a clue as to what happened. Yeah. Like, I mean, no, I mean, be, I get it. I get it. It's you know really too interesting. I mean, it's, you know, some, some could argue that, oh, no, it's too far gone. It doesn't make a difference now. But you know what? It would, I think, personally, I think it'd be interesting, you know? Well, who knows how the show's going to end? Obviously, I mean, Robert Kirkman says that he has an end in place and an idea about that. So who knows if we'll ever get that? I mean, how would – listen, if there if there is a way where there – there are scientists that are still working on this that we don't see from one country, another country, who knows from where, and they end up having some kind of a vaccine. Um, you're never going to change someone that's already turned. But if there was a way that they can give you a vaccination that makes you so you you won't change um, if you get bit. Or, would that, yeah, would that would that make you immune? Yeah, you, you know bit? what I mean. So it, it would be interesting, and I and I told you this several times that I would love to have an episode. Where, 
I don't, I mean, I, I, I you know, the st structurally, I'm not sure if we see our cast or not, or just, just let me see what France looks like. Or even if it's a flashback of what Jenner was talking about, right. It'd be nice or, to go let's back see and see what that, yeah. other parts of the world. I mean, I obviously that's so interesting. What about fear? But see, but see, that's what fear is supposed to be. But now, yeah, but fear is but still U United States. Well, you know I mean? not really. The, it's, it's well, it's it Mexico. It's, it's been, North America. It's still in. It's still. You're right. It's North America. But there's still. I want to see what. Let's see where. All right. Everybody always talks about the snow stuff, right? How do the walkers react in the snow? I think what's happening in the Ukraine? Some interviews. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, what's happening in or or in, the intense heat in the in the desert? The, yeah. Know, what's happening down in like or, Egypt or something? You know? Yeah. yeah. It's it's it would, I just think that would be really cool, right? There's a, there's so see much see that, of that. That's the whole thing. There's so much that why can't they do an anthology? I mean, this was this was the story, you know, uh the, um World War Z, the yeah. original book was a chronicle of stories collected by a reporter. Yeah. And it was amazing because it had all these all these different stories. Like you had these little micro stories as to how people dealt with it in different parts of yeah. wherever they were. And I think that they can do an anthology series and you, you know, you call it, you know, The Walking Dead, whatever, you know, yeah. and and it's an anthology series where even if it's just one season or three episodes or you know, like American Horror Story does this with the, you know, that they're an anthology yeah. series where every season yeah. is different. D why not why not it would, just, it, uh, it would just be interesting just to get glimpses of get you, you, you they do these stupid little web webisodes mm -hmm. the red machete and then like the other yeah. thing okay but why aren't you doing that in like a real set in like a real mm -hmm. form like make it mm -hmm. different anyway mm -hmm. look um let's just i want to i want to get to the end um of the episode yeah. on a couple of things one they used the grenade that was cool because you're like how are they going to get out of this thing Carol has a grenade. She she saves the day, and um, you know, just the the Dale and Andrea stuff was pretty poignant, and the fact that Jackie stayed with you know, and she's telling T Dog and man, like it's yeah. just like that was pretty poignant when when Dale was like, well, I'm 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 oh, I'm done too. Then he's like, you don't just the one of the best lines he ever said. You know, you know, like Dale or not, he had some of the best lines in these first couple seasons, and. Yeah. He said, you know, like, you know, you don't get to just come into someone's life and then check out. Yeah. And you don't. And and, and, and you look know. where it led Andrea, though, for a while. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? She kind of had like, listen, I know how you couldn't stand her. I know Jesse couldn't stand her. But for a while, she tried to do the best she felt. You yeah. know, she, look, she, she was broken. Look, yeah, exactly. Stuff I, and yeah. That stuff, but yeah, no, it's a, it was a really Straight interesting episode. Decisions, yeah. But no, that, yeah, you're right. That, of it, course. It was, it was a, it was an important episode with, with seeing, you know, from the beginning what's going on and what these scientists were really doing to try to stop this whole thing. So that was the biggest part of this episode. Um, besides the Shane kind of stuff, cause those were some of those things that we always had questions about the Shane really, uh, care for rick and all this kind of stuff but right, yeah at the end when when finally we see every, you know we see everybody escape because of and you're probably gonna laugh because i'm sure you thought the same thing but when the when the window uh blows out and everybody's running out and the time's ticking and it's very dramatic we have these super um high impulse uh explosion that this building is going to go through right and shame they, they're like 20 feet away from the front of the CDC. Shane's yeah. in a Jeep with, with no, no top, yeah, and no they just, side. and he just like yeah. lays down. <laughs> They're like, get down. You know, yeah. like, let me just lie, you know, lie to my side in this Jeep. And, but I mean, um, but what else can they do? Think about I know, it. Like, I, I mean, know, you're that I close. That, they, but they, you like, know, they, but they weren't 20 feet though, because if you look at, if you look at when they left, I mean, they weren't that f when they left, they were, they were, fairly far away think about that last shot as they turn around to pull away they weren't that close because i was like oh damn it looked like they were closer than that because don't forget well, I mean, they, they, they were well i understand but but still it's still with, dumb it was like yeah. exactly with with the, the the explosion that this building is going to go through i don't care if you're 100 feet away from the fucking building right. it should it should sh it should have shattered those windows yeah i always thought that was if it was ridiculous. enough to make the building implode on itself then it should right. have been able to shatter their windshields but or then something. again uh, and i always thought the explosion was cheesy oh it's cheesy but you know what man th th not bad for first year budget no I no mean, Obviously, hey, you mean, know, 
<laughs> Those are my couple of gripes that I always just thought yeah. were no, were yeah, I hear you, Because Shade, they're like, get down. And Shade's, know. you know, leading leading to the side of you know inside the the Jeep with no yep. top or no. But either way, man, it was a good season. It was a good app. Yeah. I um again, yeah. I'm glad we did this. Um, mm-hmm. I would like mm-hmm. to come back and do season two. No, oh, absolutely. Um, so that's probably going to be in the works. So this being the last episode of this particular rewatch react, we have the season eight. You know, uh, that's going to be starting up real soon. And um, yeah. so that's it with this, uh, guys. Thanks for coming along on the on the this this season one ride with us for the Walking Dead. We really appreciate right. it, Mikey. Where else can they get to us if not on YouTube? <laughs> of course, write those comments and let us know how, what you thought of these rewatches. We've been getting a lot of comments about about them, and, and we're excited uh, about that first first uh, and foremost. But of course, third person pod. Check us out on Instagram and on Facebook, and don't forget to have a listen to us on iTunes. Yep. So that's that, guys. Once again, thank you very much, and we will see you on the next episode of uh, something to do with The Walking Dead. <laughs> Peace.